Good morning, YouTubers. Well, it's 4 a.m. and uh, I'm up. Got to go take a shower, get organised, and uh, long drive to the province this morning to go and see about getting a road cut, an access road to our land, and uh, see what we can do about starting to get something cleared to find a site to build. So, off for a shower and off for a drive. Well, we're on the road again and it's going to be a long, slow trip because it's been raining all night. So, and then of course, you get guys like this who are doing 20 kilometers per hour, so it's gonna take a lot longer. before tricycles get used to transport absolutely everything check this load out in front of me well this may have been a wasted trip we're just uh, five k's outside of Barland and it's still raining the weather report said overcast and sunny this afternoon it's uh, certainly not just overcast Yep, it's raining and muddy and we're slipping and sliding all over the place. Look, I've been doing Maybe someone's burned all this land off. Yeah. Looks like the fire got away from them too because I can see the trees up there. All the bananas are dead. Yeah, and the mango trees. Mango trees. Looks like we've got a pyro out here somewhere. This is the second lot of land we've got to. The whole hill there has been set on fire. Those trees are scarred. It's still raining out here, which is probably good for that at the moment. But yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of land been set on fire out here since we were last here. Well, this is not our land here. Over the back side of that bamboo tree is our land where you can see there's still some smoke coming up. So thank God for the rain, actually, because it looks like it's uh, put out the fire. All that forestry is our land over there. Thank God it didn't get to that. Well, we got here. It wasn't as muddy as it has been other times, but you can see we got a little dirty slipping and sliding in the mud. But uh, the rain has actually stopped now, so let's hope it's uh, that's it for the day. It might fine up. It's still only early. It's uh, about 8 a.m. I think. It was a long, slow trip, about two and a half hours. And uh, we got here and I brought a brush cutter out because I want to trim some of that long grass over there where the coconuts are because some kid has already set fire to half the mountain here and uh, it's stretched over just to the edge of our land I think and yeah if it gets into that long grass where our 50 coconuts are the coconuts are only young they're still only two foot high as you saw in the previous video it'll just destroy all our coconut trees so they've uh, Got a delivery of some more wire to go up on the fencing here and build a new bench seat here outside for when the girls are washing or just sitting in the shade under the tree here not a great day for it but yeah progress is slow but it's still progress right and while aussies all know what a brush cutter is or a whipper snipper you can't buy just a whipper snipper here. They don't have them with nylon blades and stuff. It's a uh, brush cutter. It's the only thing you can get. Check out the blades on this. This thing will cut small trees. And we're back here at Star Beach for tonight, which you guys will probably remember. We've been here before. But they've done made some uh, improvements. They've included a pool now that last time we were here they didn't have the pool. Some outdoor showers just down here. This is the balcony 
from our room. We're in the VIP suite again where we stayed last time. Uh, and they've got the other side of that building with the blue roof just next to the pool there uh, is a restaurant. So they didn't have the restaurant or the pool last time we were here, but they did have the, uh, the bar. That's the bar there and the beach out there. Those of you who have seen the uh, my Star Beach video will have seen this place in full swing in the night when we were all drinking here. Had the video -key. Not perfect weather today, it's a bit rainy, but it's okay. We'll survive. Good morning. And the restaurant area here. This also wasn't here last time we were here. They were building the last time we were here, but I thought they were building new rooms. Oh, they are. They've got more rooms going up down there that aren't completed yet. But they'll get there. Yeah, so we're back at Star Beach for the night because it's raining, as you guys saw out there on the land. I couldn't get anything done. Can't get any clearing done, can't get the tractor in, can't do anything. Kyle and I are just waiting for Tess. She's getting her nails done, manicure, pedicure done. We're back in Barlood. We thought we'd wander out on the street and have a look around. We saw this, this bike with a cool roof protect you from the sun. I'm parked right next to it. There's a cool tricycle. You can take this to the beach. You got your own beach umbrella. Already built in. Some really cool tricycles in this town actually. I've, a couple have gone past but I wasn't videoing at the time so. But yeah this one keeps the sun off you while you're cruising around. Because the speeds are nice and slow. So we're just walking around. It's quite windy now. I'm hoping the wind will blow the clouds away. There's uh, a little bit of blue sky around right now, but it's still quite grey back out that way. Most of you guys have seen Star Beach Resort from the uh, one of our early videos a few months ago when we first started vlogging. At least the rain has stopped, so I thought we would take a walk down to the beach. You can see where the staff get out in the morning, every morning, and rake this. Tide's out at the moment. That's it, there's a couple of boats up the beach, but there's a dog there, there's two dogs with these two people, and there's about five or six dogs up there. So more dogs than people here on the beach. Star Beach Balani, we're back here. Just We just stayed last night because we came out to do some work on the land yesterday, as I said, and it didn't stop raining. It was so slippery and muddy driving in and out to get there. Uh, we couldn't get the tractor out there yesterday to get an access road cut. Uh, I wanted to get out there and slash some of the, the longer grass there, but everything was just soaking wet. So it's uh, it rained all night last night too. It's Everything's starting to dry out now and we, it looks like it might be a beautiful day here in paradise, but uh, depends on how dry it is out there as to whether we can get any machinery in to do anything on our land. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Well, it's the following day. 
and uh, the rain's cleared finally. Ground's still a bit wet, so not sure if we're going to be able to get a tractor out here to cut an access road today, so it still might have been a wasted trip, but uh, the boys are now out here getting some more of the fencing done. Getting some cyclone wire in. You guys remember last time the uh, defence was only concreted to this point here. So there's two more runs going up. This is the end of the front fence. So then they'll start up the side. Um, they've already, I'll walk around and show you, they've already got started along the back too. So from the gate, the last time we were here, they'd completed just up to, and it's a little wet here, so it's a little difficult to get through, but they'd completed just to the back of the shed there. But they've now gone round past the shed. Gone across here, behind the banana, and up to this point here. Basically level with the old kitchen here. But I tried to drive the truck across to our land this morning on the way in and it's just not possible. It's too too difficult to get across there, even with four-wheel drive. The grass is so long there you can't see what's in it, so I'm not prepared to take the chance and drive through it and find there's a boulder in the grass or some steel or uh, old rusty barbed wire or something laying around. So until we can get the tractor out here and cut an access road, I won't be taking anything over with the truck. So I'm just here having a coffee this morning and uh, enjoying the breeze. There's a, there's a slight breeze out here. You can see the trees behind me moving. You can see my hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> yeah, my hair is blowing in the wind. So, no, there's a very good breeze here this morning. It's beautiful. And the wind will help dry the grass out over there, fortunately, but I don't know if we've got enough time to spend here today to get anything done because we need to get back to the city because we have to be up uh, 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, leave home at 4 a.m. to get on a ferry, to go two hours on a ferry over to uh, Pilar and then get a taxi from Pilar another hour to Legaspi City so that we can get to the Bureau of Immigration so I can go and extend my visa because my visa expires here in three weeks, I think. So I always like to leave two to three weeks just in case we have issues and I've still got time and I don't overstay. So we'll get that done tomorrow. She's eating, eating, sugging for breakfast. There's, there's rice in there. She's cooking some hot dogs apparently, so. But yeah, so that's the plan for today. If we can get the, the access road cut at least and then uh, organize for the guys to dig the well while we're away, so. And here's Mama dancing. You guys may be able to hear the music coming from the house. It's a beautiful dance. Oh, poor Mama. It's, the, the dance is like you, Maganda. Maganda? Maganda also means beautiful, like guapa. Well, it's lunchtime now, and uh, the boys have stopped for a lunch break. This is as far as they've got. Last two pieces here. Cyclone wire to go in and that's the, the front stretch. The fence completely finished. Well, we can't stay any longer. We uh, It's after lunchtime now. We need to get organised. Everything's pretty dry now, but uh, we couldn't get the truck with the tractor out here. So it looks like the boys are going to try and get out tomorrow. But we've got to go back to the city because I have to be on a ferry early in the morning heading for Legaspi so, to organise my visa. Well, that was our uh, first unsuccessful attempt to uh, get some machinery out on the land and cut an access road. I've got a new brush cutter, 
I wanted to slash the grass through where we wanted to actually put the road, then get the guys out and uh, with the backhoe and lay some dirt over the top so that we had a road to get to the land because at the moment, well, it's done now, but at the time uh, the grass was three feet long and I wouldn't even drive in there with the multi-cab because I couldn't see if there was a tree stump in there, a boulder in the grass, whatever. So I wasn't going to drive in there. And it rained so much that even when the sun came out the following day, the ground was still so wet, the road was still so muddy that with a six ton truck and a backhoe on it, the weight, and you guys have seen the section of road that is really steep that I have to go into low range in four wheel drive to access, uh, you couldn't get the truck up there, it was just too muddy and slippery. So we had to get back here because we had to get up the next morning and jump a ferry, jump a ferry for Legaspi, so, or jump a ferry for Pillar, then a taxi to Legaspi so I could get my visa extension done. And I also needed to go to the LTO, the Land Transportation Office in Legaspi and convert my international driving license to the Philippines. Uh, because you can only drive here for 90 days on your international license. After 90 days, you need to convert or stop driving. So, uh, we, the next day after coming back from Legaspi, we spent two days in Legaspi, then back to the city and then we went straight back to the province and we actually were successful. The ground was dry enough. So, the next video you see will be our Legaspi trip. The following video, video is our trip back to the province and I successfully got the, the grass cut with the brush cutter and we got some dirt down and we have an access road to the land now. So now we're about to dig the well so we have water access there so we can start making cement and get some more bricks made and move forward. So I hope you enjoyed the short content that's there and please if you haven't subscribed already guys Make sure you press that subscribe button right down there in the corner right now, please, and help us grow our channel. Uh, we're growing steadily, but we need to get to monetization, so we need more public watch hours. So please, when you watch our content, watch it till the end and uh, help us grow the channel. For those of you who are interested in where I met my wife, I always put a link in the description down below to the website Christian Filipina. If you click the link down below, and you go to the website, you can then create a free profile there and browse the thousands of Filipinas that are there. Fantastic website. Um, they do their utmost to keep all the, the drama and the fakes off the website. It's an ongoing process with every dating site, but Christian Filipina do a fantastic job. So check that out, guys, if you're thinking about uh, finding a Filipina girlfriend or just Filipina friends, Filipino friends that you want, if you're going to come here to visit, it's nice to have someone who can act as a guide or give you some information, maybe teach you some Tagalog, uh, just to have friends around the world. So it's a great place to start is Christian Filipino website, check that out. If you're looking for a visa to take your Filipina to the States or whatever country, Filipino Visa offer a service from go to woe, they handle everything for you. They take all the hassle and worry out of it. Uh, a lot of uh, visa applications are rejected due to the fact that the person applying doesn't really know what they should have done or shouldn't have done or shouldn't have said. With Filipino Visa, they will handle everything. They are experts in the field, so there's also a link down below in the description to that if you're looking for help to get a visa. Uh, Again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, you can donate through PayPal Me if you want to help us monetarily, support us trying to build our house. Um, that would be great. I'd appreciate that because we are not monetized by YouTube. We do not make a single cent from any of these videos. So if you'd like to help us, the link in the description below takes you to my PayPal Me and you can donate through there. Even a few dollars, every cent helps and a little goes a long way when it's a lot of people. So please help out guys. And uh, until the next time, click the notification bell, please click the like, and that helps us get mainstreamed by YouTube and get more views. So until next time guys, from Brian, Tess, 
and baby Kyle over there who's banging on the air conditioner. Uh, from Australia and the Philippines, peace out.